Hey everyone, we're back with video number three. Today is a very exciting day because we're gonna to get to go game hunting. Um, I've picked out five or six charity shops, uh, not too far from the house, a little bit of driving, but um, I'm hoping to set up a little regular loop that we can sort of swing by every few days or a couple times a week. See if anything new shows up. Um, so today we'll bring you along for the first little journey. Um, I've been to a couple of charity shops over the last few weeks. I haven't really seen anything. I picked up one game a few weeks ago. I'll show that at the end. Um, but it's mostly just been whatever's left of FIFA and you know sort of Wii shovelware titles that sort of stuff. So we'll, we'll stay hopeful. Uh, we'll dip out. Uh, you never know what we're going to see. Uh, fingers crossed we find some good games. Who knows. Uh, but before we go I just want to say a massive massive thank you to everyone who's interacted with the channel over the last few weeks uh, we've picked up loads of subscribers loads of likes loads of people commenting uh, so it's really cool uh, so honestly just thanks a million it's it's, it's so cool to see uh, and a special thank you to the retro bear game we shared out last night uh, we'll put a little link down below to his channel uh, but a few people have popped along from there so um, yeah look let's stop talking let's get out and let's hopefully go find some games I just owned the first charity shop. Uh, really didn't think I was going to find anything. I haven't really been to charity shops looking for games before. The last uh, last few weeks we've just sort of been out on a few little walk around, through little day trips, and we've dipped in and out of a few and seen absolutely nothing. So um, first charity shop, uh, first game hunting video, and we actually got some stuff. Uh, I don't know if any of it's any good. Really, I kind of just grabbed them. Uh, the games were a euro each, so I just thought, why not? Uh, Mirror's Edge PS3. Don't think that's worth anything really but I'm just starting to put a little PS3 uh, collection together so why not. Uh, Lego Lord of the Rings on the Wii. Uh, these are I think bar one. Actually no there's no that's just a Nintendo thing. Where is it? Not there is this is uh, this is complete has the manual as well. So let's kill it. Uh, GTA Liberty City Stories PS2 complete and and then two that I think are pretty good, I don't know. Um, I didn't really search on the fly. There was two sort of odd Wii games in there that I actually think I have. So I just checked to see if there's any trade value on them and there wasn't. Uh, but Harry Potter Chamber Secrets, PS2 complete. And then Silent Hill 2 Director's Cut, um, Platinum Edition. I think that might be worth something. I don't know, Silent Hill games normally go pretty well. So we'll, uh, we'll keep moving on and we'll have a look when we get home. I'll actually uh, just have a little, little walk around after the game just to make sure I wasn't missing it and, and I seen this it's like uh, I don't know it's obviously remote control it doesn't come with the remote control even when I was buying it the woman was like yeah, there's no controller you still want it but like I know that's going to be pretty cool in the show so delighted with that um, so we're going to move on to charity shops uh, 2, 3 and 4 I think I think there's 3 in the next place we're going to so uh, fingers crossed we keep picking stuff up that's pretty cool though.
actually only two in there. I was counting the, the other one I was at before because they're so close together. They were bust, nothing in them, not even any odd FIFAs or anything like that. So, which is pretty much what I was expecting to find from most places. But should we keep going? We've another two or three to hit on this little run. So, uh, let's see what happens. Thank Stop number four. Uh, got two games in there actually. Uh, there were two euro each, probably pretty much what they're worth, but I just said, boy, we're about to pick them up. Uh, Gears of War 3, Xbox 360, and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It actually does have the two discs in it, so um, I don't know, we might double up and trade or something. That's uh, a couple more bits. We're going to do one more, uh, well, one more drive and two more stops, and then leave it for today because it's boiling. It's 20 degrees, not a nice day to be stuck in the car. Uh, so yeah, on we go. As you've seen, game hunting was a massive success. 
Uh, probably didn't realise how good it was until I got back and started pricing a few things up. My knowledge base is mostly Nintendo. I've been trying to educate myself on Xbox and PlayStation just so as when I am out and about I know what to pick up on the fly. Uh, but first shop things were only a euro so I just grabbed them. Uh, I think there was one or two weren't really worth much. The rest of them we did pretty well with. Uh, same with the second shop, two two euro games, not really worth anything. Um, but as I got towards the end I sort of stopped and started looking things up and uh, kind of knew what I was putting back, what I wanted to take. Um, like I, I'm not really in it to, to sell stuff. I don't mind picking up a few games on the cheap if I can trade them in, uh, put them towards something else. So essentially what I'm looking out for is something that I either want to play or something that I know straight away that I can just take, get a good trade value off it. Um, or else something that I want for the collection. So I'll go through everything I picked up now in a second. I just want to do a really quick uh, game room, well not game room, game room project update. Uh, as you can see, all my consoles are gone. They're all boxed up, they're all put away. I haven't had them for a week, I probably won't have them for another two weeks. I'm very sad about this, but it's for the greater good. This is gonna be a really cool area when it's done. Um, everything's been stripped out basically, so it's got a good clean. All it needs now is a prime, a paint, I'm gonna paint the walls, and then we should be done. So, I don't know, like I said, hopefully another week or two. There's a few little odds and ends of things I want to do, like just put some holes through, because we're gonna be putting a couple of tellies in, just so there's loads of space to run wires. Uh, just so we can kind of tidy everything up and keep it put away. So, um, I don't know, I might do a separate video uh, in another week or two, just showing progress on that. Um, otherwise, the next video will just be a, another all-encompassing, all-in sort of thing. Right, so very quickly, just we'll go back through what we got early on. Um, I have a few receipt pictures, I'll show them in a minute. Um, essentially, the first stop, uh, first game we got was Mirror's Edge PS2. Again, all these were Euro. Um, no manuals, so just disc only. Disc itself uh, is not too bad. Sorry if that blinds you a little bit. Uh, so for one Euro, we're not gonna say no, but that's one of the ones that when we looked up and we got, it's not worth that, it's not even worth trading. So uh, we might play it someday. I don't have a PS3. Uh, there's actually a couple of PS2 games here as well. I don't have a PS2 either. Could have sworn I had it up in the attic somewhere. I must have given it away. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that just so we can test this stuff and play it. Uh, Lego Lord of the Rings. Uh, disc is not the best on that one. That's been well played so we'll have to test it out. It was complete with the manual. Um, so again just one for it's one for the shelf. We might we might bring it up and trade it off I think. Uh, have a night. That's a we can double up in the trade so probably not not worth it. We'll just we'll keep it and play it. Uh, next one I got was uh, GTA Liberty City Stories on PlayStation 2. Again, disc has been pre-loved, but it came complete. It has the manual, the map in there as well, which is actually in really nice condition. So again, one for the collection, um, but that holds good trade value as well. What I actually do is I won't go through what each one is worth in trade. I'll be dipping down here every feck in a few minutes. So I'll do a little screen cap at the end that just summarizes everything. Next one we got was Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets, PS2. Uh, again, this disc is actually not too bad. There's a little ring in the center of it. I don't know. We'll try and get a, like I said, PS2. Try all these out. But again, complete with the manual. Love manuals, so that's always good. And then the last one, obviously this is the big one. I was gonna keep this pick up to the end of the video, but sure, look, we might as well show things in order as how we found them. Um, I, I literally only picked it up because I knew Silent Hill games sell well. I wasn't sure because it was the platinum version, but yeah, like, Disc on this one, actually pretty nice. A few scratches from being played. The manual is still in there as well, so from what I can see so far, that's like minimum 40 euro game. And we got it for one euro. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, for the first like for the first video, the first game hunting trip to find something like that is just, oh. We'll keep going. Um, second and third place, we, had, we got nothing. Um, Fourth stop, I just picked up two Xbox 360 games, three or each, Assassin's Creed, Gears of War 3. Again, nothing special, could probably get me money back and trade for one, and maybe double up and trade in the other. So, like I said, it's all a learning experience. Um, last shop, they had a few things in there, I couldn't really, it was, it was quite busy, so it was very hard to get in and out and film, so I'm not sure how good that footage is gonna be, I haven't even looked at any of it yet, so. Um, I'm kind of gonna, I don't know if I'll have time tonight. Next few days, we'll sit down and chop it all together anyway. So, hopefully, 
I was about to say hopefully be out in the next few days, but sure we're seeing this, it's out anyway. So. Um, we just picked up two, uh, back again, Defenders Core, uh, for the DS, that's complete as well. Manual and all in there, so that's pretty cool. And then I picked up Gun on the Xbox 360, another one I kind of looked up on the fly, I said it had decent enough trade value, so. Uh, 360 is another console I don't have. I actually did have one years ago, but I gave it away. Um, so, no, we keep picking up the cheap games with Anthem, we might get a play out on Monday. Uh, and actually, the first shop I completely forgot to show this. Um, I did get it on video at the time, but it's a Mario remote control car. Uh, it had no control on it, but five euro, I just thought something that I could clean up. Uh, this is going to be a big space here, and I still have an awful lot of stuff, so something like this on the shelf is going to look really cool. So, really happy to get that. Um, and then, I have a little pile here of stuff I just picked up over the last, I don't know, the last month or so. It's mostly online purchases. Um, one, let me have a look and see if I can pull this, pull these two out. Uh, I got this one in a charity shop just on a little day trip a few weeks ago. I just popped in for a look. Uh, Gran Turismo 5 PS3. Uh, that's the first PS3 game I've picked up. Uh, but that became complete. Again, good trade value, but like, Gran Turismo game on PlayStation is always really pleasant. So, we got ourselves a PS3. That'll be one that we'll be keeping to have a game of um, and what else did I pick up Paper Mario was just something I bought myself it was 15 in CEX complete lovely disc on it that's just one that I want for the collection I want to play uh, and the rest of these are just kind of yeah these are all online pickups so God of War PS3 I think it was all of these are two three euro so um, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for all of them but Grand Theft Auto episodes from Liberty City. Again, manual and map are complete with that, so just nice to have for collection. The Last of Us I actually have played uh, digitally on PS4, but again, three euro, classic game. Had to pick that up. Got Burnout on the GameCube, three euro, complete. Never played it, probably doesn't look like the best game in the world, but for the GameCube collection, we'll throw it in there. Uh, a couple of Wii games, Monster Hunter Troy, that was two euro in CEX online. Uh, Resident Evil 4, again these are all complete, CX online, and then this was a charity shop, uh, this was an online charity shop pickup, 11 euro, it's probably one I probably would have found in the wild eventually, but uh, just one I always wanted to play, once for the question, that was new Super Mario Bros. for the week. Yeah, so that's everything we picked up today, and our few pickups over the last sort of few weeks or month or so. Uh, hopefully it was a good video, hopefully it didn't drag on too long, if it did, I'm sorry, um, that was my first time in any of those uh, charity shops let alone film and game hunting so i tried to kind of take as much footage as i could so i'm gonna do my best to sort of whittle it down and compact the video um but if you stuck with it till the end thanks a million i really appreciate you coming along um again to all the people that have joined the community that are commenting that are subscribed that are liking i really really appreciate it i love hearing from people um and it's just it's crazy to me like i know people probably think it's silly with 25 subscribers i mean 25 people i didn't know two three weeks ago uh that are watching my videos and joining them uh, commenting on them so it's a really cool little retro gaming community out there on youtube and i'm really happy to be a part of it and going forward hopefully we can uh, we can keep putting videos out and get to meet some new people so again if you're one of those if you're new if you're watching this if you're watching me for the first time just thanks a million i really really appreciate it and uh just look hopefully we'll see you again in a few weeks thanks mm -hmm.